It's become an annual magnet, this French classic, like no other motor race. Motorsport enthusiasts from all over the world come here. And 50,000 have made the channel crossing, most of them British Jaguar fans. Making the pilgrimage to see Jaguar win again. It was back in 1957 that the Coventry luxury car maker last won the Mans with a D-Type powered by a 3.4 engine which could be found under the bonnets of their road-going cars. In those days Jaguar was privately owned. Later it became nationalised and there was no racing. Today Jaguar is in private hands and going racing again to enhance image and sell cars. And the XJS Coupe's engine forms the basis of their racing motors which will power their Le Mans cars. This is their third attempt at a Le Mans winning comeback. But on form, they're on top. They won the World Sports Car Championship for manufacturers last season. Raoul Bozel is the current World Sports Car Champion driving a Jaguar and they're leading on points this year. Their racing cars are designed, constructed and run out of TWR. Racing driver and businessman Tom Walkinshaw's motor racing team headquarters at Kidlington in Oxfordshire, England. This is where Jaguar's Le Mans cars are designed by Tony Southgate and the five XJR 9LM cars have been built. On current form, this could be the year when Jaguar topple Porsche from their Le Mans throne. Tom Walkinshaw, shortcut Jaguar Supremo, going back to Le Mans for the third time. Porsche said it would take you three years to win Le Mans. Is 1988 going to be the year? Well, I hope they're right then. Uh, obviously, our preparation's good this year. We learned a lot last year, and uh, you know everybody's confident we're going to do a good job this year. Uh, Tom, last weekend you, you won Silverstone for the third year running, you won your third consecutive race. What's the Mercedes opposition like this year? Are you worried about it? It's uh, very strong, the car's good, uh, it's very fast. Uh, I think we're fractionally better on fuel than it is, but of course fuel isn't a factor at the moment because you get 12% extra. Uh, I think, you know, they've got a good car, we have, and I think Porsche will come out with a good car as well, so I think you can bin for a classic race. You say a classic race, in fact there's 17 factory cars entered at, at this time, it's going to probably be the most competitive Le Mans ever. Do you expect at the end of the 24 hours that you'll have all your cars out front? As long as I've got one, I'll be quite happy. And that, of course, is all that's needed. To finish first, first you must finish. And an army of technicians here are trying to ensure that a Jaguar does just that. But an awful lot can go wrong at Le Mans. It is, after all, like driving, say, from Paris to New York in 24 hours. And imagine doing that at an average of over 137 miles an hour. That's motoring all right. Most of the Jaguars are built here. Although the V12 engines are made in Coventry, enlarged from 5 to 7 litres and tuned to produce 700 brake horsepower. But unlike the Porsches, the Jaguars do not have turbocharged engines, but are fuel injected. In the preceding, much shorter World Championship events this season, the Jaguars from TWR have won three out of the four rounds of the championship. The small army consists of 111 personnel, and they're needed to look after the five Jaguars and their 14 drivers.